So here we go. It's a Super Bowl. Hello Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Round against the Patriots. Who's excited about this one? Seems to be such a long time from the last time we watched football. Pro Bowl was a bit boring, wasn't it? But yeah, right back into this one. Seems to be a lot of people out there that are calling a high-scoring game. Um, seems to be split between the pundits for which way it's going to go. Rams or Patriots. So um, yeah, doing a simulation on this one rather than making a two hour long video where we go play by play and, and have to watch the whole game. Um, we're just going to sim the game, see how it goes. So first drive for the Rams. Um, they've been forced to punt, so now we'll pick it up with the Patriots. Um, third and five, eight yard conversion to White in their own half. Ten yard to Edelman. Um, so it's interesting to see, and there's a 21 yard pass to Edelman there. Um, it's obviously I don't know if the Patriots won the toss or not, but the, the Rams got the ball first, couldn't put anything on the board, and now the Patriots have the ball, and there's a non-conversion on third down there. So a 47-yard field goal for Goskowski, and now back with <coughs> the Rams. So, Rams start. It's Todd Gurley. He's going to be a big key to this game, isn't he? As anyone who saw the championship game realised he didn't, didn't get as many carries as you'd expect him to get. But um, if, if he is playing and, and getting the snaps in this game, I'd expect him to have, have a big game and be quite a handful for the Patriots defence to, to handle. So um, Rams driving now, so they're in, in the red zone. Five-yard run for Gurley. Um, really knocking on the door now, late on in the first. Uh, Higby of seven yard and a yard out. And Goff to Woods from a yard out, so they're not, not running from a yard out and they get, get their conversion from the touchdown there so 250 left and the Patriots get the ball back 7-3 down um, and a good good completion to Allen on, on the first down there um, it's, it's going to be interesting to see early on how this game goes who, who can sort of take control I think the running game is, is quite big between the two I mean obviously Gurley's the standout player but the combination that Patriots have got in the backfield is proven to be very dangerous against teams they've faced the last few weeks so we're going to go on now into the second quarter 7-3 to the Rams. The Rams got the ball deep in their own half and a 17-yard reception to Robert Woods there. So, and again, Robert Woods. So he's, he's really picking up yardage here at the moment. And, and Goff having a good drive here against the Patriots defense. Back to Todd Gurley for a couple of rushes now and it's a third and short in New England territory. An incomplete pass there, so he's thrown it away. And fourth down, they'll go with Zerline and get the 44-yard field goal. Be interesting to see how how aggressive McVeigh is in his first Super Bowl. Um, he, he's known for being an aggressive coach, and and you feel that there might be one play, you know, maybe a fourth down, a fake punt, you know, even a fake field goal. Like we saw in the first Saints game, you feel that he might he might do something. Um, we've seen in in these Super Bowls how how big decisions impact these games. A bit like when the Saints went for that onside kick back along. Um, so let's have a look. So Rams got the ball on their own one, and they get get some breathing space with Gurley there. Gully a nine yard rush there from his own, own five yard line so here they go they're on driving again penalty on the defense there got 650 left in the second quarter 10-3 to the Rams Pod Gurley here getting right through the defense back to back runs there and they're running them again and they're getting into the Patriots territory then 12 yard pass to Brandon Cooks so I mean not just Gurley, but as we see CJ Anderson now coming into the, the drive, it'll be interesting to see. He's, he's proven very efficient for the Rams now um, throughout the playoffs. Um, and and with Gurley not playing much, he was vital for their the last game played. Tyler Higby there with a 10 yard pass, another three yards out, and Brandon Cooks there again for the touchdown. The extra points 17 3 now, 130 left, second quarter. Imagine the Patriots have a chance to put some points on the board here with timeouts left as well. Oh, hang on. Oh, my God. We've got an inception. Brady has been picked off. And the next play, the Rams have gone in for a touchdown. That big turning point in this game. Brady picked off deep in his own half. Not long left in the second quarter. And the Rams managed to punch it in. Touchdown in. Look at this. We're 24-3 now. I mean, obviously, the Patriots have been here before. They're all about coming from behind in these Super Bowls saw what they did against the Falcons um, just on that Falcons game I think back to that and, and that unbelievable catch that Edelman had when they were down late on to keep that drive going and I think of um, the catch of the helmet that the, the Giants player I can't remember his name now had and it's just 
you know, in these Super Bowls, you can just have one play that makes such a difference. So 24 6 down now on their own 35. And they've had a 15 yard conversion in third and 10 there. So into the Rams half now. So work, work to be done here for the Patriots. I'm sure they didn't want to be in this position at the start of the second half. But at the moment, driving down the field, Chris Hogan and Gronkowski there into the red zone. James White there, with a good rush. And then five yards out, Gronkowski puts him down to the one. And they're going to punch that in the zone as well. So 24 12. I wonder if they might go for the two point there, but just the extra points make it 24 13. Midway through the third, and the Rams get the ball back. And that, that's big. Seven yard rush for Todd Gurley there. 17 yards Tyler Higby. He's come up with a few plays in this game so far. And then Josh Reynolds, don't forget about him, third, third wide receiver there for the Rams. At the moment, Higby seeing a lot of the ball. And you think at this time, if, if this did come down to this in, in the game, you'd think they'd be trying to rush the ball quite a bit here. So, third and eight, quick pass and down there. Robert Woods keeps the drive alive in the red zone. Higby again, big one, taking him down to the one. And again, it's a pass, pass in from the one. And, 31-13 now, so the Patriots in quite a hole here. <clears throat> of course, they've been here before. So we'll see, see what Brady can do now on this next drive. 140 to go in the third quarter. Edelman for a nine-yard reception and the final play. We'll see them take it into the Rams half. So let's go on now into the fourth quarter. Here we go then, so going into the fourth quarter, 31-13 to the Rams. Tom Brady been in completion start, they're in the Rams territory. 12-yard reception to Edelman. And now they are knocking on the door of another 14-yard pass to Edelman. In the red zone now then, 31-13, they really need a touchdown on this drive. Knocking on the door. And then we've got third down, this is quite a big one here. And it's past Gronkowski in a touchdown, so do they go for two this time? Nope, just the extra point. So, 31 20, 12.58 to go in the fourth quarter, and you feel now that the Patriots are going to need to have a stop against this offense who've pretty much had it their own way throughout the game so far. The nine yard rush there for Todd Gurley, third and three. Pass knocked away, so here we go. They needed that stop. They'll get the ball back, 47 yard punt. The heck are there. Evan gets a 12 yard return, and now they're driving again, so. Get a score here, it's going to be a one score game. And Brady sacked. Well, that's going to be big now. Big third and 17. Get five yard the defense there, third and 12. And it's an incomplete pass, so it's under 10 to go in the fourth, and the Patriots will have to give the ball back. It's a 50 yard punt there. So now let's see how they utilize the running game here. So there's already two big, big rushes there for Gurley. And passing again. Um, so I see NFL.com did one of their own Madden games and I believe it's 51-36 in favour of the Patriots. We're coming out slightly different on that at the moment. Um, much lower scoring. I can't see it being that high of scoring but people do think that this is going to be quite a high scoring game. Can't see anyone seeing that it's going to be a, too much of a defensive battle. Um, so here we go. So the Rams knocking on the door again. Can they get in? Third and ten. Only an eight yard reception to Reynolds. Can't go for the field goal. So 34-24-35. Normal circumstances against any other team, you probably think that's game over now, but this is the Patriots. I'm sure if the Rams do get to this position in the game, they're going to be fully aware of what Brady and the rest of the Patriots can do in these kind of circumstances in the Super Bowl. So it's home with 17 yard pass, three fight to go, fateful 20, incomplete pass. And now they have first down, knocking on the door, it's gone past 17 yards. In the red zone now, seven yards out. It's before the two-minute warning, <clears throat> and they get get the touchdown now. Yeah, I imagine with the timeouts they're going to kick and see what happens. Try and make a defensive stop. That is huge. A nine-yard rush on the first down. That could be it. And Gurley gets the first down. I think that might be game over. And Gurley with another nine-yard rush, and that's it. Goff can knee to see out the game. 34 27, there's Sean McVeigh, he's very happy about it. Um, I don't know who that is. is that not supposed to be Belichick. Um, yeah, I don't know. There we go. The Rams are the Super Bowl champions. Patriots with back to back Super Bowl defeats. 
be interesting to see where they go from here now. Is that the kicker? Shaking hands in the middle? I don't know what that's about. <coughs> There's Brady. No doubt that that interception at the end of the first half had a massive impact on this game. And there we go. I don't know who that is. They are the Super Bowl champs, the Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging right for the MVP performance there. What a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every and again, step of the way. Our entire crew reason, doing I'm a wonderful sure job. Thanks to and my the fans are going wild Charles here. Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing up. We'll Lots of Rams fans here. Right here and there we go. They get the Lombardi Trophy. There it is. Likely your Super Bowl MVP, Jared Goff. Kisses the trophy, lifts it to the sky. 24 years old. So, let's take a quick look at some of the statistics here. So, let's have a look at some of the statistics here in the game. Um, so, let's start with the team stats. So yardage, well, it's massive looking at rushing yards, how many more? 152 there for the Rams, not much for the Patriots. Passing yards, Patriots on top on that. First downs to the Rams. Third down conversion in favour of the Rams. And look at that, the time of possession. 13 more minutes in favour of the Rams. Obviously that turnover for the Patriots. Braided the one inception. Goff at a 134. Four touchdowns, so yeah, that's definitely MVP performance. And we got... Todd Gurley there, 30 for 138. No one else really there touching the stats on the, the Russian side of things. Higby had a big game. Edelman got over 100. And then look at Rob Woods there with his, his two receiving touchdowns. Um, so that's it, guys. 34-27 to the Rams. Hope you enjoy the game on Sunday. Shout out to all the fans in the UK over here. Chargers fan here. Make sure you subscribe below. See you in the next video.